Section thirty six of the Aesop for Children. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Aesop for Children fables one forty one to one forty four by aesop the hare and his ears the lion had been badly hurt by the horns of a goat which he was eating he was very angry to think that any animal that he chose for a meal should be so brazen as to wear such dangerous things as horns to scratch him while he ate so he commanded that all animals with horns should leave his domains within twenty-four hours the command struck terror among the beasts all those who were so unfortunate as to have horns began to pack up and move out even the hare who as you know has no horns and so had nothing to fear passed a very restless night dreaming awful dreams about the fearful lion and when he came out of the warren in the early morning sunshine and there saw the shadow cast by his long and pointed ears a terrible fright seized him good-bye neighbor cricket he called i'm off he will certainly make out that my ears are horns no matter what i say do not give your enemies the slightest reason to attack your reputation your enemies will seize any excuse to attack you the wolves and the sheep a pack of wolves lurked near the sheep pasture but the dogs kept them all at a respectful distance, and the sheep grazed in perfect safety. But now the wolves thought of a plan to trick the sheep. Why is there always this hostility between us, they said? If it were not for those dogs, who are always stirring up trouble, i am sure we should get along beautifully send them away and you will see what good friends we shall become the sheep were easily fooled they persuaded the dogs to go away and that very evening the wolves had the grandest feast of their lives do not give up friends for foes the cock and the fox a fox was caught in a trap one fine morning because he had got too near the farmer's henhouse no doubt he was hungry but that was not an excuse for stealing a cock rising early discovered what had happened he knew the fox could not get at him so he went a little closer to get a good look at his enemy the fox saw a slender chance of escape dear friend he said i was just on my way to visit a sick relative when i stumbled into this string and got all tangled up but please do not tell anybody about it 
I dislike causing sorrow to anybody, and I am sure I can soon gnaw this string to pieces. But the cock was not to be so easily fooled. He soon roused the whole hen-yard, and when the farmer came running out, that was the end of Mr. Fox. The wicked deserve no aid. THE ASS IN THE LION'S SKIN An ass found a lion's skin left in the forest by a hunter. He dressed himself in it and amused himself by hiding in a thicket and rushing out suddenly at the animals who passed that way. All took to their heels the moment they saw him. The ass was so pleased to see the animals running away from him, just as if he were King Lion himself, that he could not keep from expressing his delight by a loud, harsh bray. A fox who ran with the rest stopped short as soon as he heard the voice. Approaching the ass, he said with a laugh, If you had kept your mouth shut, you might have frightened me too, but you gave yourself away with that silly bray. A fool may deceive by his dress and appearance, but his words will soon show what he really is. End of section 36 Recording by Susan Morin, Portland, Maine